I got a, quite a few traps out yesterday. Um, I think 10 raccoon, one beaver, and two coyote traps. Uh, we're gonna run this line and see what we got. Well, unfortunately, I got a couple grinners. Uh, did not want those, wanted some raccoons, but uh, we'll get these nest raiders taken care of and uh, move on and check the others. We got those two possum on the first two dog proofs. We did uh, have nothing in the 220 that I had out for the raccoons. Uh, we do have beaver on this one. It doesn't look like it's quite as big as that last one we got, but it is number two for the year. That one's not quite as big as the last one we got, but he's big enough to do some damage. Hopefully, uh, that'll help save some trees. Got a nice uh, full depth front leg catch. That helps with the drowning. Makes it so they can't get up and get some air. You can see his paws are all the way down to the pan. That's how you want to get them. We got that beaver trap reset. Uh, we do have a little bit of rain coming today. They're only calling for maybe a quarter of an inch today, so I don't think it's going to raise the river up enough to affect my trap depth. I'm not messing with that. Uh, but the one thing I did do was on that caster mound, I've got the stick that's got the caster on it, and I threw a leaf on top of it. Uh, I've done that before when we got rain because it'll wash your caster away. So just Throw a, throw a leaf right on top of it and that'll keep the rains from washing all your, your lure away. Just a little trick, hope it works for you. This is the second morning for trap checks on this run. Uh, we're at our first trap and it looks like we got a decent sized coon here. We'll get this one taken care of, and if we get any more, we'll we'll show you what we got. I got that raccoon dispatched. Uh, in my previous video, I had talked about using these new cables with hose around them, with rubber hose on them, in hopes to stop tearing the trees up. Uh, this is actually the first coon that I've caught on one of those, and I wanted to show you. I, I think I like this uh, idea. So you can see where the rubber hose on that cable went around the tree and there is zero damage to that tree. Um, I like that because just with a cable on there, I'm certain that coon would have uh, taken all the bark off of that tree. So I like it. I think I'm going to make up a couple more and start using these when I stake off my dog proofs this way. All right, we're at our first beaver check for the day. The trap is definitely down under the water. We can't see anything. I can see the drowner block, but uh, all right, we got another beaver. Looks like maybe a little bit bigger than that one yesterday. That's probably a 40 pounder, 35, 40. Another good front leg catch helps with the drowning can't get their heads up out of the water well happy to have another pelt and uh, another tree chewer off of the property they've really damaged us up pretty good so far this year we ended up getting nothing on this uh, next beaver set the the water did come up probably about three two to three inches overnight, which left our trap pretty deep. It was set off, but nothing was in it. Uh, reset it, moved it up a little bit. You can see our caster mound we made right here and then a beaver tail print right next to it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this one may produce 
overnight. All right, this will be our third morning of checking these traps. Uh, I'm at these first two dog proofs for the coons, and we got nothing on the one and another grinner on the other. So that's uh, three possum I've taken off of this one location. We'll get rid of him and check the rest. I'll turn you back on if we've got anything on the others. I come over here to check this one, and I did have a dog proof sitting out over here. Cable them off to this tree. You can see we got a, that's eh, a fair sized coon sitting in the hole. We'll take care of him and uh, I'll check the next. This is actually morning six, I believe, for our trap check since we've had them out. Uh, we pulled all the beaver traps two days ago because we have a lot of rains coming in and I knew the river was going to come up and it's a good thing we did because we'd have had it, it come up about two feet. Um, I left just the three coyote traps out, uh, pulled all the raccoon traps at the time. Uh, so we didn't have any of those out, but we're out here today and I've got a couple young helpers with me today, Rory and Elliot. Rory and Elliot, you guys want to say anything to anyone? Hi mom, nothing? No, okay. Well, we're uh, we checked our first two coyote sets that we've got, and there was nothing in these in those. Uh, we're at our third now, and you can see we've got us a coon in this one. It looks like a pretty good sized one. Uh, we'll get this coon taken care of, and then we've got uh, one more coyote trap and two more raccoon traps we'll check. And I'll turn you back on if we get anything there. Hey, it's morning seven. Uh, all I've got out right now is the four coyote traps. I did relocate one. Uh, the one I caught a coon in yesterday, he muddied that trap and chain up pretty good. Had, uh, had it pretty much unusable. So I had one more in my truck. I set it in a different location. Uh, just got done checking those. I got nothing on them. I did have a coyote track close to one of my traps uh but no no catch uh we'll come out tomorrow morning and check them again and i'll bring you along good morning guys hey this is morning nine of checking my traps uh if you've been following along you'll know i've pulled all my beaver traps due to how much rain we've had in the river going up and down uh hard to maintain a good depth on on a beaver trap when you've got rising and falling waters uh i also pulled my coon traps a few days ago uh, i've got enough pelts in the freezer i just don't want any more raccoons right now uh, don't have time for skinning or just choose not to skin anymore i've i've got the couple beaver pelt and a couple uh raccoon pelts in the freezer right now that i can flush out get them prepped up um i did run those coyote traps for full three or four extra days uh with nothing um twice i caught a raccoon in a coyote trap so that kind of skunked my chances right away um this is reality this is trapping guys uh you you just don't catch something all the time uh, I would have loved to have had a coyote. I'm, I'm looking for one to skin out. Um, didn't happen. It's been warm, oddly warm for Christmas time in the Midwest. Uh, we need some colder temps. I left a lot of my uh, super stakes in, pulled the traps off of them. So I'm gonna do some things around the house, uh, get caught up on that, and hopefully we're gonna get a cold spell. I'd like to see some snow, decent snow cover on the ground. Uh, everything's just been so darn muddy. Uh, it'd be nice to freeze it up and get those coyotes moving, get them, let them get hungry, uh, get that snow cover on the ground so it's harder for them to find food. And then I think it's gonna be a lot more productive. Uh, again, guys, don't don't get discouraged if, if this is how your trapping season goes. It's gonna go that way at times. It really will. The coons were weird. Uh, at the beginning of this, I mean, I caught a, I caught quite a few, but they, they'd walk right past my dog proofs. They're just not eating. I don't know if they filled up and then it got warm and 
they had no reason to eat uh, but I even put a couple of body grips out and just really didn't have a whole lot going on with them uh, showing that they were moving well uh, anyways it's almost New Year's uh, I'm gonna set it out for a few days like I said get some things done around the house I thank you guys for watching uh, I would appreciate it if you have not already subscribed uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button it'll it'll help me out uh, I'm getting close to 500 uh, really never never thought I would have even be close to getting that many people that would follow me but if if you do watch my videos and you haven't subscribed hit the like button and uh, and subscribe and throw me in a comment or so it'll boost up the algorithm and push these videos out a little more for others to see uh, thanks for hanging out with me guys I do appreciate it and if we get a colder spell I'll be back and uh, we'll we'll see if we can't trap us a coyote thanks guys